What's happening, heroes? Let's talk about Battle for the Grid. So, with well, Season 3 just coming out, there's a lot of uh, people talking about characters they think are going to be added in and characters they want to see added in. But I wanted to change it up just a little bit and talk about skins for characters that are already in the game. Now, the game has a, a very <laughs> interesting roster. So, there's so many different skins and so many different looks they could have gave characters that aren't in the game and it's sad to say that they aren't in the game but maybe one day they might be in and i want to just open this discussion up and talk to you guys about some stuff like that now i think there's a, the possibility for this to go so far uh, i want to set some rules so it doesn't get too out of hand for this uh first one for for the ranger or character right their skin could only match a ranger they've already been or something that works with them for what they are, right? So like, Cat can't have a Trini skin. Cause I've seen a lot of people say they want like a Trini skin over Cat since we don't have the basic Trini over uh, for anything. We just have Dragon Armor Trini, which is okay by me. But I've seen a lot of people say they want Trini over Cat. But so they have to actually match like, Jason can have the Omega Ranger skin and we're gonna get back to that. But uh, following that rule, that, that mindset, and two, I'm going to try my best to think of at least three skins for every character. That's going to be hard. <laughs> That's going to be very hard. But I'm going to try my best to think of at least three skins for every character. So for the start, I do want to talk about Jason. Because one, J Jason's like, he's in my top three Power Ranger characters. But um, I think it would be really cool for them to add in the Omega Red Ranger skin. I know I mentioned that, but I want to go more into that. I, I think it would be really cool for them to add it in. Uh, you know, the Mega Red, Red Ranger skin from the, the Boom Studios comics, where him, Zack, and uh, Trini become Omega Rangers. I, I think it'd be really cool since, like, the, the Boom Studio comics already in, tied into the game with the Shattered Grid story, since Battle for the Grid is essentially just an adaptation of that. And it, it just added more story with the comics and bring the comics to light easier, adding in that skin. Like, like the comic fans will love it. The, the uh, I was going to say anime. <laughs> the... The, uh, the show fans, uh, the show only fans would think it's really cool. And it's really cool to see their like reaction if that ever gets in. So I think the Omega Red Ranger would be a very cool skin to add in. It wouldn't be too hard of a stretch either. He just changes his uh, normal like broadsword uh, to, a, to a katana. And he can keep the keep the blasters. I don't think it's that much of a stretch. I don't think anything of mine. And if they really have to change <laughs> the blasters, have him shoot fire since you know his element is fire in that uh, form instead of shoot uh, blasters. The next skin for Jason I want to talk about is the Red Ranger V2 skin. Now it's not an official skin, but Tommy has a uh, version two skin. So I thought, man, like it looks so cool that it kind of it kind of makes me upset or sad that that Jason doesn't have a V2 skin. I think Jason should have a V2 skin, just because just Tommy has one. Tommy has one, J Jason should have one. And uh, for the third choice, right, the third pick for Jason, I pick for his skin. I, I thought about this. Now, there's a lot you could give him, right? But I think it would be really neat to have in the Red Ninja Ranger from the Boom Studios uh, crossover with the Ninja Turtles and uh, the Power Rangers one, the new one, the one that's ongoing right now. I think that the Red Ninja Ranger will be super interesting. And, and I think so many people will be like pleased and surprised. It would just, oh my God, it'll blow it up. It'll, it'll blow the game up. I think I think that's gonna be perfect to add. And also like, I don't think this game ever would have a guest character, but I'll make it so much easier to like add in like Green Ranger Shredder as a guest character. Imagine that, imagine that, but um, so I think those are those are my three picks for if Jason getting an extra skin. The Omega Red Ranger skin, Red Ranger V2, and the Red Ninja Ranger. Uh, a lot of a lot of comic inspiration for those three. Now for the Green Ranger. <laughs> Jay, uh, no, I was gonna say Jason. For the Green Ranger, Tommy. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, the first choice was very basic. I just thought the red Zeo Ranger would be the easiest skin to add in. He already has a sword anyway. Just just change that. He can still fight the same. You'd have to change the, the special up. You'd have to change the special up. But if they could find some way to just change the special up, um, that skin could work. Maybe even having... I don't think it would be a stretch to have in... <laughs> I know he's not morphed in that form, but the green, uh, the Dragon Zord and the White Tiger Zord both shoot missiles as like a little, like, you know, like those are his past range of forms. Now this is his new one. I don't know. They can make it work, though. It's not too hard of a stretch. This one is going to be a little harder. The Black Dino Thunder Ranger. Uh, because the Brachio Staff isn't a sword. 
and he fights with a sword so it'd be kind of a stretch to have him fight with it as a sword but i'd rather have the black dino thunder ranger as a skin rather than have like two tom oh, three <laughs> three tommies in the game so somehow they'd have to work that out now i think the missiles on that part would be easier since the the what is it the brat what is it the dino thunder uh, zord had it, it, it had the other zords in it so it's not a stretch to think it could blast missiles it's not stressing any power engine weapon can blast missiles, but that one that one is not hard at all for that part. But I think getting the uh, getting the design on it and the cosmetics over that one would be a little harder. Now, the last one. Now, there's a lot of other forms you could give Tommy to, like the Turbo Red. But I didn't want to go with the Turbo Red because I rather see TJ in the game as a Turbo Red uh, Turbo Red representation, but. The armored movie costume from the 1990s uh, movie. Uh, we had the white, like, it was the white ranger suit, you know, but with the armor, with the armor plating. I think that would actually be pretty sick to add in, you know, like that, that would just be look so clean. And he already has a V2 skin for uh, Green Ranger. That would just be an another skin for the white ranger, which kind of match it out a little bit. It would just really be cool to add in. Now, this one is, would take a lot more finesse and it would be a little harder, but I think this could still work out. Um, Ranger Slayer, <laughs> uh, Kimberly. I think I think uh, the pink Solar Ranger from from the comics would be really, really cool to add in for her. It would make her, I think it would make her character stand out a lot more in the game too. Um, so the pink Solar Ranger for her would be amazing. There's a lot going on with that, and it would be hard. It would be hard to put in, but her super would stay the same. Um, the alt, I mean, you just could invert the colors too for the color too for that. But the pink solar ranger for her would be amazing. Uh, the next one, most of you guys have already seen this one. That like regal royal ranger slayer. Her new design that she has in the comics in the ranger slayer comic. Oh my god. That would be beautiful in the game. Like 100% beautiful. And they could have another one of hers uh, with that costume. With her helmet on or off. That would be amazing. That would be, <laughs> that would be absolutely amazing. Now, it would be a little weird because we don't really have a character that has their helmet off. I'm going to get to that later again, too. Except for Scorpina, who's coming in the game. I mean, I mean, the, the mystery character. We, we all know who it is. But having uh, that skin for Ranger Slayer would be really cool. And a lot of people probably wouldn't expect it either. But to show that they're going to be that updated would also kind of push more people to stay connected with this game. Or like cause new fans to think, eh, I don't know, to get in this game because they know it's still going to be uh, updated for it. And for the, for the last costume I had for Ranger Slayer, this one would take a lot of work because we don't, like I said earlier, we don't really have a character that's uh, that's not looking like a beast or monster of some kind or like some weird suit with designs. Uh, the unmorphed Ranger Slayer um, from the coin list, I think. I think that would actually be amazing to add in for her. Like that, that, that would actually make her so cool as a character. I mean, it'll make her stand out. Probably make people want to play her more too, since she'd be like the odd one, the, the odd one out in that regard of not being a morphed person in the game. And I know some people wanted like Ninja Adam, and he wouldn't be a morphed character in the game. But nah, man, we gotta we gotta get unmorphed Ranger Slayer as a skin. That would be so sick. <clears throat> so I'm gonna end it on those three for right now. But you guys tell me what costumes for what characters you want to see in the game. Tr trust me, I'm going to need this because I tried to write this out. And there are some I could not think of three for. But I'm going to think of three by the time I record their, their video. But just leave it down below uh, what characters and what costumes you want to see. And uh, let's let's at anyway and make sure we get the Omega Red Ranger as a skin. <laughs> but um, that's what I have for right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.